the holder of peregrination. In any city, in any country, go to any travel agent you can get into. Once inside, find the customer services desk and ask to see the holder of the peregrination. They will swallow hard and begin to violently convulse. Shout the same question at them, regardless of their spasms. Should they continue to convulse, you are quite free to stand completely still where you are. Running is simply a silly idea. It could not save you from the pain that will inevitably consume you, destroying your mind but never giving you the mercy of death. If, though, they stand, turn around, and vomit, put your arm around them and help them to the back room. Your path will not be impeded upon yet. When you arrive in the room, the customer services adviser will turn to you and vomit. As well, only this time in your mouth. Swallow fast and hard, as the acid from the vomitus will dissolve your mouth. The room will begin to lighten around you, with an off shade of blue radiating in it. You will notice that you are not the only one in the room. Suddenly, a terrible pain in your stomach will hit you as the foreign, otherworldly acid hits your gut. A small hole will be burned into your stomach, increasing in size until your insides spill out to the floor. By no means should you attempt to catch them, as they will simply devour you. Soon you will begin to drift in and out of consciousness. A multitude of low, inhuman voices will echo from your spilled bowels. These voices are perhaps the most foul you ever heard. But you must endure and listen. They will tell you tales of every distance covered by every creature to have ever existed. Fatigue will envelop you. Misery and madness will follow. But you must listen as closely as you can, for after what feels like years, they will pause for a mere moment. You must interrupt them now by asking, Where is his vehicle? Or you will be made to listen to your innards for all of eternity. Assuming you jump at the chance, a shrill scream will suddenly pierce your mind rendering the voices as mere whispers that fade to nothingness. The light continues to get brighter until your eyelids cannot even hope to keep out the searing light. Your skin will blister under the intensity. Quickly, you must begin to eat your innards, making sure to chew every mouthful. Do not be concerned about having no appetite. A vast hunger will come over you. It may very well urge you to hurry, to engorge yourself, but you must not listen unless you would care to continue this action until the day they are reunited. Chew completely. You will awaken in a foreign country. If you happen to look at your stomach, you may notice a wheel-like structure burnt into it. This mark will grant you the ability to get anywhere you need to by any means, while never having to pay any fees. Surely this will come in handy. As you are a seeker, you've everywhere to be. But so often you must forfeit your possessions for what you seek. However, as long as you bear this mark, you will forever be restless unable to settle anywhere. The wheel is object 288 of 538. How far have they travelled? 